when it comes to launching military operations on enemy coastline territories, no vessel holds greater importance than amphibious assault ships. These ships possess the capability to navigate through hazardous conditions and facilitate rapid deployment of combat forces on land, even in the face of resistance. Their design traces back to the conversion of aircraft carriers into helicopter carriers, boasting expansive well decks capable of accommodating thousands of marines, landing crafts, tanks, hovercrafts, and essential logistics required to support an invasion. There are currently only 10 countries with these ships in the world, and these are the 10 biggest and most powerful amphibious assault ships in the world. Atlantico Amphibious Assault Ship Originally designated as HMS Ocean and commissioned by the UK Royal Navy in 1998, this ship was later acquired by the Brazilian Navy for £84.6 million in 2018 and underwent recommissioning with the Brazilian Navy following its decommissioning from the Royal Navy. The ship now specializes in supporting amphibious missions by facilitating the rapid deployment of assault forces using rotorcraft and landing craft in the Brazilian Navy. With a length of 203 meters and a displacement of 21,000 tons at full load, it can transport 800 troops, four landing craft, and up to 40 vehicles. The flight deck is designed to accommodate the operations of up to 18 helicopters, including the EC-725 Caracal, SS-70B Seahawk, and AS-350 Ecuroi. It is armed with 430mm DS-30 MMK2 remote weapon systems, which serve as its primary weapons, but its other three original Phalanx 20mm CIWs were removed before the vessel was delivered to the Brazilian Navy. It is powered by two Crossley Peelstick medium-speed diesel engines that can achieve a maximum speed of 18 knots and has a range of 8,000 nautical miles. Docto Class Amphibious Assault Ships It is a class of landing platform helicopter and amphibious assault ships operated by the Republic of Korea Navy. It was designed and manufactured by Hanjin Heavy Industries and is intended to improve South Korea's amphibious operation capability in terms of attack and combat operations. It is the largest vessel in the Republic of Korean Navy with a construction cost of $285 million and serves as a vital command and control platform for the mobile naval fleet in supporting various missions such as landing operations, sea-based air activities, peacekeeping efforts, disaster recovery, and counter-terrorism operations. This ship is capable of accommodating 700 Marines along with tanks, trucks, amphibious assault vehicles and landing craft. Its flight deck is designed to facilitate the simultaneous operation of five helicopters. It is armed with two goalkeeper close-in weapon systems and a RIM-116 rolling airframe missile launcher. It is propelled by four SEMT Peelstick 16 PC-2 five STC diesel engines that can reach a maximum speed of 23 knots and boasts an impressive range of 10,000 nautical miles at an economical speed of 18 knots. Mitral Class Amphibious Assault Ships the Mistral class is a class of amphibious assault ships built by France, with first the Mistral amphibious assault ship commissioned in 2006 at a cost of 451.6 million euros. Currently, five of these ships are operational serving in both the French and Egyptian Navy. They hold the distinction of being the largest combat vessels in the French Navy, second only to the Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier. Measuring 199 meters in length and boasting a full load displacement of 21,300 tons, these ships can accommodate a complement of up to 900 troops, 16 rotorcraft, and a third of a mechanized regiment, as well as two LCS platforms and a battalion of 40 Leclerc tanks. The flight deck provides six landing spots and can simultaneously support the operations of up to six helicopters, Armament on each vessel includes two Simbad launchers for Mistral air defense missiles, 
two Breda Mauser 30mm guns and four 12.7mm M2HB Browning machine guns. It is powered by three Wertzele 16 V32 diesel alternators and can achieve a maximum speed of 18.8 .8 knots, plus a maximum range of 10,700 nautical miles. Juan Carlos Landing Helicopter Dock The Juan Carlos is the largest warship in the Spanish Navy fleet, designed by Navantia to enable strategic transportation of marines and ground forces, while also operating as a versatile carrier-based aviation platform. This impressive 231-meter-long landing helicopter dock has a displacement of 26,000 tons and can transport 900 troops while also accommodating four LCM-1E landing craft, allowing the Marine Infantry Force to transport amphibious vehicles to and from the ship seamlessly. For amphibious operations, the flight deck can accommodate up to 30 medium and heavy helicopters. In its aircraft carrier form, the deck can hold up to 12 F-35B, or AV-8B plus aircraft, as well as helicopters. The ship is outfitted with four 20mm guns and four 12.7mm machine guns, with the option of installing an anti-missile close-in weapon system later. The propulsion system combines diesel electric and gas technologies, incorporating a gas turbine two diesel generators, and two POD-type propellers, giving the ship a maximum sustained speed of 21 knots. Type 075 class. The Type 075 landing helicopter dock is part of a series of Chinese amphibious assault ships built by Hudong Zhonghua Shipbuilding for the People's Liberation Army Navy. This class features a full-length flight deck geared for helicopter operations and a floodable well deck to permit the deployment of hovercraft and armored amphibious assault vehicles. The lead ship of this class, clearly inspired by US amphibious assault ships, was built at an unusually rapid rate, signifying a significant milestone for China's shipbuilding industry. The expansive flight deck spans 226 meters and provides seven flight spots for the takeoff and landing of the 35 aircraft housed on the ship. The well deck boasts a 20 meter wide gate, measuring approximately 90 meters in length, adequately accommodating two or three Type 726 LCACs. The vehicle deck is also large enough to accommodate a People's Liberation Army Navy Marine Corps amphibious mechanized infantry company, as well as additional platoon-sized tank or artillery components. Canberra-class amphibious assault ships The Canberra is a class of amphibious assault ships developed for the Australian Royal Navy that are smaller than comparable American ships. Currently, two ships have been built through a partnership between Navantia and BA Systems Maritime at a cost of 1.55 billion each. It is 230.8 meters long and has a full load displacement of 27,500 tons, which is sufficient to house 400 ship companies and 1,000 embarked soldiers. The flight deck which has six landing slots, can accommodate a mix of ARH Tiger Attack helicopters, medium-sized rotorcraft, such as the MRH-90 Slash Blackhawk, and four CH-47 Chinook Heavy Lift helicopters. The well deck can accommodate landing craft utility, amphibious vehicles, and landing craft air cushions. The amphibious warship is outfitted with four Typhoon stabilized weapon systems, each armed with a 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain cannon and a coaxially placed M247.62mm machine gun. Propulsion is achieved through a combined diesel and gas system, incorporating an LM2500 turbo generator, two man diesel generators, two Siemens azimuth units, and two bow thrusters, enabling the ship to reach a maximum speed exceeding 20 knots. WASP-class amphibious assault ships. 
The Wasp class is a continuation of the Tarawa class, with its ships sharing the same fundamental hull and engineering plant made in USA. Upon their introduction, the Wasp class vessels held the distinction of being the largest amphibious assault ships globally. Priced at $2.14 billion each, these ships were the pioneering vessels specifically crafted to operate both the AV-8B Harrier Seku and a complement of LCAC hovercraft. They boast an overall length of 253.2 meters and a displacement of 42,442 tons. Each ship has the capacity to transport 66 officers, 1,004 enlisted personnel, and 1,687 troops, along with a surge force of 184, supporting a Marine Expeditionary Unit of 2,000 Marines. The vessel provides nine aircraft spots, with a deck limit of 42 medium-lift helicopters of CH-46 size, and can accommodate three landing craft air cushions, two landing craft units, 39 amphibious assault vehicles, or 140 wheeled vehicles. The primary armament of the WASP class includes two ram launchers, two NATO Sea Sparrow launchers, and up to 320 mm phalanx mounts. The amphibious ship is propelled by two steam boilers connected to a pair of geared turbines, ensuring a maximum speed of 20 knots. America-class amphibious assault ships. The American-class amphibious assault ships are the largest boats ever built in their category. These ships are larger than most aircraft carriers from other countries, although not classified as aircraft carriers in the United States, retain this distinction. Their design is based on the final ship of the WASP class, but the new ships have more deck space and larger hangar facilities, which allows them to accommodate more aircraft below decks. The amphibious warship is 260.7 meters in length and has a displacement of 44,449 tons. Each vessel can transport 1,687 troops, a surge force of 184, and a variety of aircraft, including F-35B short takeoff vertical landing fighters, MV-22 Osprey vertical takeoff and landing tilt rotors, and CH-53 EC Stallion, UH-1Y Huey, AH-1Z Super Cobra, and MH-60S Seahawk helicopters. These ships, which cost $3.4 billion apiece, come armed with two rolling airframe missile launchers, two NATO Sea Sparrow launchers, two 20mm Phalanx close-in weapon system mounts, and seven twin 0.50 caliber machine guns. The America class's hybrid mechanical electric propulsion system combines two 35,290 horsepower LM, 2,500 plus gas turbines, and two 5,000 horsepower auxiliary propulsion motors, allowing the vessel to reach a speed of 20 knots.